All right, so this is take two, and I'm going to be talking about an album by Dalek called Asphalt for Eden. And I'm also going to do a little review of, ba of a band called Beak, basically an overview of their sound and, and whatnot. Uh, but first, I do want to announce also that I'm eventually going to be reviewing the lyrics of Nirvana's most famous song, Smells Like Teen Spirit. I'm going to do sort of an in-depth analysis of those song lyrics and kind of let you know that the lyrics are not as stupid as some people think they are. And in fact, maybe they're actually intelligent. Like maybe it's actually a well-written song and that it actually has meaning that some people probably don't detect and might go way over their heads and all that kind of stuff. But first, I'm going to be talking about Asphalt for Eden. So with the 2016 album Asphalt for Eden, Dalek made the entirety of the album available to stream for free on SoundCloud. Two of the most memorable tracks from the album, in my opinion, are Guaranteed Struggle and Mask Laughter, and in parentheses, Nothing's Left. So Mask Laughter has a music video that was also released in 2016. The album was released through Profound Lore Records, which usually is a, a heavy metal record company. And the album received critical acclaim upon its release. Release, I mean, I said released. But it's, of course, not universally acclaimed and nothing truly achieves universal acclaim anyway. You're always going to find somebody who trashes it. I would say the album is, you know, it's, it's not going to appeal to anybody or everybody. <laughs> That's what I meant to say, everybody. I said anybody. No, of course the album will appeal to some people out there, but it is experimental hip hop kind of stuff. And uh, when I say experimental, I I mostly mean that it has sort of a industrial sound, sort of rough around the edges, noisy. So it's not like smooth R and B kind of stuff, or you know, even it's, it's hard. It's hard to really describe it. It is almost like a rock album only with rap, but it's not really rap rock either, I wouldn't say. You know, the album is the band's first release since their 2010 Untitled release, and it marked the end of Dalek's hiatus from 2011 to 2015. And I, I really don't have a whole lot more to say about it, except, you know, just go ahead and check it out. And you might like it. You might want to give it a shot. So here's for part two. We're going to be talking about the band Beak. So Beak currently consists of Jeff Barrow of Portishead and Billy Fuller from Robert Plant's Sensational Space Shifters and Will Young from Moon Gangs, which is a band I've never heard of. In fact, I've never listened to Robert Plant's Sensational Space Shifters, but I, I'm definitely familiar with Portishead. And so what does Beak sound like? I would say their sound combines elements of ambient, electronic, and rock, almost like a portmanteau of styles, or is that how that word is pronounced? Uh, portman portmanteau? I don't know. It always reminds me of Katmandu, and then I start thinking about Bob Seger. When I see that word, it's really dumb. And uh, it's just another way for me to get sidetracked here. But Beak is known for its slow tempos and dense instrumentation, I would say. Or is it sparse instrumentation? I don't know. Either way, they're known for having instruments in their songs. So that's, that's a kind of in-depth analysis of, you know, music that you can expect from this podcast here. I wouldn't say Beak would make my Desert Island Discs list of my favorite songs or albums, especially when I only recently learned about them. But they were actually pretty good, and one of those projects I wish I had heard about sooner. 
In fact, they actually have been around since 2009. So they're not even like a brand spanking new band or anything like that. They do kind of remind me of a more down-tempo Ladytron. I don't know if you've ever heard of them, but you know, they're, there's, there's some similarity, at least to my mind. And I can't say I listen to Lady Tron that often either, but I have heard some of their songs and I, I like them. So really, um, I don't have that much more to say about Beak. Uh, I just think you could check them out and see what your thoughts are on them. So um, two quick music recommendations and be on the lookout for that uh you know uh nirvana lyric analysis we're going to find out what exactly is going on with smells like teen spirit all right so have a nice day